there's people that know what goes on in this city and they just don't speak up about it. Here are the five of the biggest racial gaps. The top of the list, Erie, Pennsylvania. I've lived in Erie approximately 20 years on the east side of town. And I've never seen the administration of the city address the concerns of the east side of town. I see them come when there's violence. It's a very oppressive type of, of, of approach that they bring when it comes to uh, dealing with the community. I see them come to the schools when little children are being disrupted. You're going to be taking our kids into a situation where they can just fall right into uh, a juvenile court system. But I don't see them in a concerned way. He said that if I didn't leave the building, they were gonna have to have the code of cops on me. They were kids, they got into a little argument, they had a little fight. This is mugshot, one of them. Putting the police precinct in the school, if that's your 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 plans to change things as a mayor, I just see more of the same old same old to continue to compound problems of the black community. McBride Viaduct to most people on the east side of town, it's the East Avenue Bridge. And the city and city council have decided to close it down and to force the citizens to use the Bayfront Connector, a really dangerous for crossing. They had a plan years ago to tear it down uh, because they didn't take care of it. If they had only taken care of the bridge over the last 15 years, there would be no need for us to be here. Most of the graffiti on the walls and on the street are from the group, the Erie CPR, um, to try to save the bridge in their efforts to try to save the bridge. They've done events on the bridge, um, games for children on the bridge, uh, break dancing on the bridge. They've done some really creative things and sort of just marked the bridge up to let their voice be heard. The scrapyard might be the most sustainable business in here. Of all the changes, everything that closed, the scrapyard is still going strong. Bring in your metals and they weigh it and give you whatever growing rate is and they take it from you and you go on your way with your $22. And you know, not mad at them, it's a business. But you want to talk about an eyesore? Look at it. So you have this eyesore that's been here, and you have the buildings that's been ignored. You got this bridge that's been ignored. It's not like this bridge just became a problem overnight. So this is all just areas that the city chooses to neglect. This bridge is more so just symbolic of the neglect, the overall neglect. They, ne they neglected the bridge, and when they feel the bridge isn't worth anything, destroy it. The exact same way they do the people. I felt angry. You know, I grew up in this city, and that bridge used to be my route to different places. There are far more important and rewarding endeavors we should prioritize in East Erie. I would include number one, helping our youth by being more aggressive with community schools. Two, aggressively implementing more community policing. Three, helping the private sector create more good family sustaining jobs. Four, improving East Erie neighborhoods. Please, the mayor was very respectful. We're trying to save the East Avenue Bridge. Buy an extra kitchen on the walk on the highway. We're doing much more than just trying to save the bridge. We're trying to save our community. 
Preliminary Statement. This is a civil rights action brought by Erie CPR on behalf of African American and Hispanic citizen stakeholders who reside in the city of Erie, Pennsylvania in the neighborhood adjacent to the McBride Viaduct on the grounds that the proposed demolition violates the civil rights of the plaintiffs. I think one of our key functions is not only save the bridge, but save the character of our city. What can we do to make it even better in Erie than it is now? What can we do to take the greatest of the Great Lakes and make it better? I said, Mr. President, we need to get sand replenishment. <laughs> he said, how much do you need? I said, I'm not sure. He said, let me know. You're going to get that sand. 